Mexico. <laughs> you know, it's right there next to Texas and Arizona. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny, Pooch. I had thought this, and I don't know if it's true yet, but I'm going to find out. Mm -hmm. If you look at Utah, Colorado, Arizona, and New Mexico, yes. My grandfather, Edward Budnick, had crossed the desert when he was 16 years old. Mm -hmm. One night, myself and my own deceased father, Paul Douglas Budnick, were sitting around the kitchen table drinking. <laughs> You know, I lived with my biological father, Paul Douglas Budnick, for approximately six months when I returned from Denmark as being an exchange student. Yes. And uh, he was a drinker. And uh, he did smoke quite a bit of marijuana. And we'd sit there and we'd talk for hours and hours and hours, smoking marijuana and drinking. Now, I was approximately 19 years old. Yes. Back then, oops, in 1989, there really wasn't this big concern about alcoholism. <laughs> but I remember spending quite a few hours... <laughs> Sitting there around the kitchen table talking about stuff. Yes. <laughs> I learned quite a bit, really. Yes. <laughs> now, for those that have parents that drink and smoke pot and they want to invite you to do it. Yes. <laughs> my suggestion would be don't do it. <laughs> but at the time, I was just 19. Pooch. See, I turned 18 when I was living in Sweden. Yeah. <laughs> I was in love with this woman. Oh, my gosh. There's that snapping clitoris ball. I hadn't seen that for quite a long time. <laughs> Well, what happened was, yes, the Danish police asked if I had left Denmark after having been. <laughs> well, let's just say that I talked to the police in Denmark a couple of times. I was only 17 years old. Now, when I moved back, yes, I ended up staying at my father's house. Yes. He had a motorhome right outside his house, right on the lawn there. <laughs> you know, thinking about it, he used to subscribe or maybe he purchased it at a convenience store uh, to a magazine called Easy Riders. Yes. It was a motorcycle. <laughs>